Breaking news out of Cedar Point, Top Thrill 2 with their epic new triple launch Stratocoaster is down for the remainder of 2024. Are we surprised? No. No, not at all. It is great that the park learned from their past maintenance mistakes, though. You know, probably the whole reason why this whole fiasco went down. Besides that, let's break it down to see how and why this whole thing is going on. Top Thrill 2, the former Top Thrill Dragster, and before that, former Lagoon, was announced on August 1st, 2023, following two years of massive hype. Construction of the coaster was swift, completed in December, and testing started in the same month. Testing looked to be solid, and they could find out if anything was wrong with the ride, and would be fixed and figured out, right? Right? No? Hmm. Anyway, Top Thrill 2 would be blessed with a nice and warm winter, leading to swift testing in April. This got the ride certified by the state, and riders started racing 420 feet up again on April 22nd. This was sadly a preview day. Around three to four weeks later, the park announced its closure for the time being. Hopefully. Then, we rated waited three more months for the official words it will reopen in 2024 right no nope nah nada and of course cedar point had to blame it on zamperla yep mm -hmm. they did that again like no you chose Zamperla for the project. You did it too. It's also your fault. Take some blame, people. Take the blame. So, what is wrong with the ride? And how will the park and Zamperla fix it? Let's start with what is wrong with it. Here is what's wrong. Zamperla trains plus Intamin track. That's it. But there is way more. Ready to go listen to the list? Okay, then. 1. The trains were much heavier than advertised, leading to structural damage, specifically on the top hat. 2. The trains fly over the top hat, which also caused more structural damage and damage to the wheel assemblies. And then... 3. Zamperla 4. Cedar Point 5. The extreme forces of the ride You know, it goes 120 miles per hour forward and then 101 miles per hour backwards Yeah, that's not exactly great on the trains or the structure Did I mention Zamperla? I kind of forgot And also the name is kind of a problem, they need to fix that Zamperla uh, I don't know what to put at 9, so Zamperla Alright, now let's talk about how to fix it I believe that Intamin will at some point take over the job, but that won't solve everything. Let's do the list 2.0. 1. Lighten the train in some way. Yes, it will cause more electricity for the LSMs, causing more noise, more money, and other stuff, but who cares? This is about a big money-making GP drawing, enthusiast drawing, roller coaster that will bring in much, much more money than the bills that Cedar Point will pay for the electricity and other stuff. And big coaster equal big money. So big money, way in, big coaster, both of those together, outmatch the bills by a long shot. Two beef up the wheel assemblies they already have but yeah they still need to do that and then for three i have <laughs> why did i write just fix the ride in the script oh my god <laughs> but still yeah they still just need to fix the ride in some way somehow just do it cedar point you have the money you have the chain now cedar fair is a was still a pretty big chain, but now this new Six Flags chain, yeah, they're absolutely giant. And then, this 
is the conclusion. Overall, this is a very tough blow to both Cedar Point and Zamperla. They both need to fix the ride, get it open, and make money. Money, money, money. They need to be Mr. Krabs for once and actually try to make money. Because I want to see a GCI in the plot where Snake River Falls stands right now. Cedar Point, I'm waiting. But yeah, they both worked hard. But now they need to work together and work harder. So, you know, just like get it open or something. I don't know. I'm just a lame enthusiast. Why are you still here? This isn't the ending of a Marvel movie. Get out of here.